Hey guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. It is the first day of Vlogmas. I thought I wasn't going to do Vlogmas, uh, but I prepared myself what video I should do for each day and it just ideas popped up and I feel super confident to do it this year. Last year it was my first time doing it and I was so overwhelmed uh, because after the 31 days of Halloween I decided to take like a month off of like doing any videos for the month of November um, until I did it like last minute and I was like oh no like <laughs> so um, this year I'm preparing myself better to do it and it is such a gorgeous day that we're going to be doing this in my sun porch. And I hope the content that I prepared for you guys is better than last year's. Um, last year's I was missing a few days. And when I say a few, a lot. I missed a lot of days. Um, so overwhelmed with gifts because I was making everybody something. And I wasn't planning on trying to, you know, spend a lot of money other than materials to make said gifts. And it just... Oh, it was so much, so much, and this time I, I toned it down a little bit. Uh, so we're going to be doing a lot of crafting. We're going to be doing uh, a few vlogging. I really want to try something to do with baking. I don't know if I want to do cookies. I don't know if I want to do something like our cupcakes. You know, I just... Not cooking. I don't have patience to cook like a turkey or fancy meal I just I'm pretty basic of my cooking so we're not gonna go there but baking I could do maybe I will try to make some cookies today's schedule we're gonna be doing um what 20 no that's too much we're gonna be doing 15 questions more like a get to know me kind of vibe um I made sure the questions weren't repetitive from last year on the first day I kind of made um my own questions. I kind of mixed up questions from different places on the internet. So um, we're gonna get started. I have them all written down here. Um, I have my lovely coffee and then I am in my onesie. For the first time ever I am wearing a onesie. I just I felt like Halloween onesies aren't for me but I think Christmas onesies are definitely a go. Um, so I might just get more. We'll see. I'm not done shopping. Um, there's still time to get more. So we're going to start on the questions. And don't be afraid to comment down below of any of the questions that I'll be answering. Like, I want to hear some of your answers. We're just going to wait until the uh, siren goes away. Finally. Question one. Favorite holiday slash Christmas movies? <laughs> this is a must. I have to watch these movies every single year. The classic Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, oh, I can't remember what year it's from. I know it's old, but it's the still animation one. I really like that one. With the, the abominable snowman who loses his teeth. Whoa. Um, Home Alone, I have to watch Home Alone 1 and 2, preferably number 1, um, I, it's just, I do, and The Santa Claus, I love that Tim Allen movie, Santa Claus is such a classic, I like the second one, not a huge fan of the third one, but I would definitely watch them all, but I always have to watch the first one. Although there is a new movie out on Netflix that I really, really enjoy, and I think it's called The Christmas Chronicles. It's got Kurt Russell in it, and I just found out they're dropping the second one in a few weeks on the 25th of November. Oh, so excited, but that is a really great movie. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Question two. What's your favorite Christmas color? Um... I love the traditional black and red for Christmas. I also love the traditional green and red, but I'm slowly loving the silver and gold or white and gold. It's not like 
a hundred percent thing, but I'm definitely starting to like that. Yep. Question three. Do you like to stay in your pajamas or dress up for Christmas? I don't like dressing up for Christmas. I love, absolutely love um, being in pajamas all day. If I'm not leaving the house or I don't feel like <laughs> being presentable, um, I will leave the house in pajamas. Uh, I go to, like even to, whoa, hello wind. I will go to my neighbor's house across the street in my pajamas. I will go to my neighbor's next door in my pajamas. Heck, I've gone to Tim Hortons two blocks away in my pajamas. Love being in my pajamas. So no, even on Christmas morning, I still would be in my pajamas. Four, your favorite holiday drink. I love eggnog. My dad and I love eggnog. My mother, my sister, I don't think my sister does, but I know for a fact my mom hates eggnog. Um, but my favorite coffee beverage during Christmas is the chestnut praline latte at Starbucks. Treat myself every year for it. So I try to get as much as that into my system as possible um, before it goes. But my dad and I will definitely have eggnog together. Question five, your favorite treat. I love Frere Rocher's. I don't eat Frere Rocher's the entire year. My mom knows and my sister knows I love Frere Rocher's and they get it for me for Christmas. They get like the little tin and I only eat those. And Gabe knows not to touch my chocolate because I treat myself with that chocolate. Are you a pro rapper or do you fail miserably? I'm decent. Boxes, uh, bags. Bags is my specialty. I love putting tissue paper out and wrapping it in tissue paper and it's just, it's easier for me. But I honestly, I'm not a pro rapper. My sister is, however. She is an, an amazing rapper. Question seven. Do you usually buy gifts for your pets? No. Last year I didn't. My cat passed away. Uh, so I couldn't. I couldn't do it so uh, I just kind of left it I didn't buy anything for my parents cats I didn't buy anything for my sister's dog I just I just don't um, but now that I have Luke um, I'm thinking about getting him a gift not a hundred percent sure what but I'm thinking about making him like a little cat toy or something like treats for Christmas I'm not a hundred percent sure but I, I definitely want to get something for for Luke Question eight, <laughs> which holiday song annoys you? The Mariah Carey one. Uh, I, I can't, I hear it so many times. Urban Planet had that song playing over and over and over and I couldn't stand it. And then um, when I got my job at Fabricland, we have it on a s certain station and the station only has like eight to nine songs and I hear it like, 20, almost 20 times a day during an eight-hour shift. I don't like the Mariah Carey song. I'll do any other song, really. It's not a problem. It's that dang Mariah Carey song. Question nine. Name three cities or countries you would love to spend Christmas in. <laughs> I would love to go to New York City. I would love to go to Times Square and just be there. It, it looks so much fun. I just hope Mariah Carey is in there. But that would be another place to be. I would love to go to Japan and I would love to go to England to spend Christmas. I'd love to go to those places. I have to uncross my legs because this one is falling asleep. Question 10. Have you ever skipped Christmas? We did last year. Last year we skipped Christmas. Uh, I mean, I got gifts for my sister and um, my brother-in-law and all that, but last year was pretty bad. My mom got sick and my dad got sick. Um, and then my sister got sick. And then my nephew got sick, I believe. And then my brother-in-law got sick. And then when my sister and my brother-in-law were getting better, my brother-in-law pulled his back out like the day before Christmas, 
um, so he couldn't come down. Gabe was at his dad's, because I remember going to my parents' house being like, oh, Merry Christmas, and my dad was like coughing and sneezing, and my mom was um, getting over the cold, I think, and for some reason, Gabe and I were the only ones, the entire circle, who did not get sick. I have low immune system, so we were very surprised about that. So we kind of skipped Christmas last year, but there might be a chance that we could be skipping this year. Question 11, favorite Christmas smell? I love the smell of cooked turkey and mashed potatoes with stuffing. I love the smell of stuffing especially. Um, but a nice home cooked meal with gravy, so good. Number 12, weirdest gift ever. to really think about this because usually people get, even give me the weirdest gift um, I still keep it or use it or enjoy enjoy having it um, um, I don't think I ever got it. Okay, if I had to, if I had to really think about it, my sister gave me like this weird keychain plushy. I don't know uh, about it. I was very confused why she even thought I would like it. Um, I think I kept it for a few months but it and then I got rid of it because I was like I don't know what I'm gonna do with this <laughs> like I don't know so I, I just got rid of it it was just it was weird and I, I can't even describe what it was but I remember she gave me something in a stocking stuffer or part of the beauty bag she got me like um, for self-care and I was like really oh it was like a stuffed uh, rainbow, like like a poop thing. I don't know, but it was really weird. I can't remember what it was, but I know I got rid of it within a couple of months because I was like, <laughs> uh, question 13, have you ever got hurt or sick during Christmas time? Um, I've never hurt myself at all physically. Um, in any way during Christmas time. I remember the one year when I was living with my parents, um, I woke up on Christmas Eve and I had severe uh, sore throat, runny nose, and I had the chills. And I remember being in um, like, a, like a long nightgown and I was like, I just woke up and I went to my parents and I was like, I think I'm sick. And we didn't even feel it coming. It just happened within 24 hours. So I woke up on Christmas day, like feeling like absolute garbage. Um, oh, but I do remember on Christmas Eve, when I lived with my parents, um, I had a dream that I was answering the phone, although I did grab the phone and uh, I pretend I was answering it. And this is, I'm not kidding. I was dreaming but I was actually kind of like sleepwalking and my sister heard me and then the last thing I remember was I hung up the phone I don't even remember what the conversation was and I dropped to sleep but I smacked my head on the, uh, the railing of the bunk bed because I was in the top bunk so um my parents let me sleep in a little longer because I was pretty knocked out. Usually I'm up like early in the morning and I didn't. So they let me sleep in. And then I woke up with a bruise on the side of my head over here because I hid it on this side. So yeah, I did hurt myself, but it didn't prevent me from having Christmas. It just made me sleep in. But being sick oh, prevented me from having a Christmas. Question 14, holiday tradition. Now, before my grandmother passed away, our original holiday tradition was that uh, we would have our Christmas at my grandmother's place. That was the tradition for 10 years. Uh, but when my grandmother passed away, um, our, our family separated. 
So our tradition is when my sister and my brother-in-law comes down, we all contribute into getting food that we can make a buffet out of. So it's not like only me who buys like a certain product and I only eat it because no one else is going to eat it. Um, we have to buy food that we all eat it or like 80% of the people will eat it. So my sisters will bring, my sister and my brother-in-law will bring like the cheese, the crackers, and then my dad and my mom will prepare um, pigs in a blanket and sandwiches and meat. And we just pick, pick, pick. My mom makes like meatballs and it's, it's awesome. Just hang out, watch movies, we talk, we catch up. That's our tradition. And then on Christmas day, we, my mom would make a big, a big dinner or we will go out and eat. Shopping for gifts this year or make gifts? I'm probably gonna do both. But I think I might be buying a lot of gifts this year and then making. Um, I know I'll be making stocking stoppers mostly. And that's just pretty much it. So uh, if you guys like this video of this questionnaire of the first day of Vlogmas, please give this video a nice like. And if you want to follow me and my other social media accounts, all the links are down below in the description box as well. And make sure you subscribe to my channel to see more further content I will be doing for the rest of December for the Vlogmas Challenge. And things I will be doing in the new year. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Take care. Bye.